Purchasing and receiving inventory involves a few steps. The first step is to create a purchase order, and that's what this video covers. Other steps include receiving the inventory and entering the bill, and those are covered in other videos. To follow along, open the working file called Landworks underscore purchasing, or you can just sit back and watch the video. So to create a purchase order, click Purchase Orders on the home page. And this might look a little familiar to you. It looks almost like a vendor bill. So let's go ahead and choose the vendor from the vendor menu. And we'll choose to Valley Garden Supply. If you use classes in tracking inventory, you could choose it from the class menu. And I'll choose Landscape Lighting. If you want to ship the order directly to someone else, Click the Drop Ship To menu and choose the person or company you want to ship the order to. If this were your first purchase order, QuickBooks starts numbering from 1. If you don't want to appear as a newbie to your vendor, you can change the purchase order number to something higher, and from then on, QuickBooks will increase that number by 1. So now we're ready to add items. Click in the Item column and choose Wall Light. Click in the quantity and let's type 5. If you're purchasing the item for a customer or job, click the customer menu and choose the customer and or job. And this is for Dante Delera Install Landscape Lighting. In the vendor message field, you can type an optional note for the vendor. And I will type, please rush the order. If you wanted to write a memo to yourself, click in the memo field and type the note and click Save and Close. So sometimes I forget whether or when I've placed an order for an inventory item, and QuickBooks can help in several ways. To see a list of all outstanding purchase orders, open the Vendor Center, click the Transactions tab, and click Purchase Orders. From the Filter By menu, choose Open Purchase Orders. And you can double-click a purchase order to open it. So let's go ahead and close the Vendor Center and go to the Items list. To see how much of an item you have on hand and on purchase orders, double-click the item in the Items list. Let's double-click End Cap. At the bottom you can see you have 684 on hand and 300 on open purchase orders. Let's close this item. To see on hand, on order, and reorder point quantities for all items at a glance, you can customize the item list. So click Item and choose Customize Columns. In the Available Columns, scroll down and choose Quantity on Purchase Order and click Add and Add Reorder Point. You can move the items up or down on the list to determine the position they appear in the item list. So let's click Price and move down, move down, move down. And while we're at it, click Attach and click Remove. I don't use that field much, so it just gets in the way. Click OK. Now you can see if we unsquish things a bit. You have a quantity on purchase orders column and a reorder point column. Let's go ahead and close the item list. And now that you've learned about purchase orders, the next step is to receive inventory items.